bag worth around a million pounds has been hijacked in Oxfordshire. The German driver had stopped for the night at the Charwell Valley services on the M40 when he was sprayed in the face with a noxious substance after a brick was thrown through the window. The American Vice President Dick Cheney, who has a history of heart problems, has said that he'll undergo tests in hospital tomorrow, after which he expects to be fitted with a pacemaker. It'll be Mr Cheney's third operation since the election last November. The Transport Secretary, Stephen Byers, has told the rail industry to stop the buck passing and start working together. Mr Byers has directed the Strategic Rail Authority to concentrate on passenger demands for punctuality, safety and clean and comfortable trains. Thousands of British holidaymakers are being affected by a bus strike on the Spanish islands of Mallorca, Menorca and Ibiza. Bus drivers are refusing to ferry tourists between airports and hotels. And the weather, warm and humid in the south, showers becoming confined to the northwest. BBC News, it's three minutes past seven. More news on Radio 2 at ten o'clock. Good evening to you at the receipt of customs. Hath not old custom made this life more sweet than that of painted pomp? Asked the banished duke in the forest of Arden. His old custom was dwelling among friendly trees. Ours is tuning into yesterday for 26 and a half minutes of a Friday evening, all of which is a windy way of saying that I'm Hubert Gregg and I'm about to render thanks for the memory. Hello again from the square chair of the Friday Club. Gillian Russell, you sent Roy Oakshot an email. Dear Mr Oakshot, I have often thought I should write to Hubert Gregg to congratulate him on achieving his Open University degree. He was at the same Bath University summer school as me in 1986, but alas, I have yet to complete mine. No. Oh. I know he is already part through his current series, but watching him on the box in, in which we serve recently, you must have watched pretty hard to catch me, prompted me to remind him that June the 29th is the centenary of Nelson Eddy's birth. So, here is Mr Eddy to open our proceedings. <laughs> Not far away, 
hold up your hand and say, There's gonna be a great day. Nelson Eddy, who was born 100 years ago today. I hope you enjoyed that, Gillian, and your mother too. Not forgetting, as you mentioned, the members of the Nelson Eddy Appreciation Society. Do email me your address. I'd love to write. Here's a marvellous lady and a dear friend by name Evelyn Lay, the title of whose fascinating autobiography was Boo to My Friends. Miss Lay, the honour she should have had was never bestowed, perhaps because she was nobody's crony. The song by Oscar Hammerstein and Siegmund Romberg she created in her movie The Night is Young. Nick Lucas recorded <laughs> pretty well every song I learned from concert parties and early talkies when I was knee-high to a 78, from tiptoe through the tulips to I've never seen a straight banana. No, I, I don't think he's saying that. I had forgotten his prowess on the guitar. I'm looking at the world through rose-colored glasses. Everything is rosy now. Looking at the world and everything that passes seems so rosy you somehow. Why do I feel so dry? Don't break your eye. Even yes, I'll confess a certain someone just said yes in the bungalow. Lucas seeing the best in life. A wee correspondence corner. Sadly, Chuck Badwin in West Hampstead, we're unable to make dates for recalls. We plan often weeks ahead. Thank you, though, for the singleton. Make it a list and we'll try again if you leave the when open. Miss Lee Wiley, who for a while in the 40s was Mrs. Jess Stacy, sang with a distinguished selection of bands from Whiteman, Victor Young and Leo Reisman to Pee Wee Russell 
as well as with Jess Stacey's big band. Here she is, accompanied by the Eddie Condon Quintet, Condon Guitar, Ernie Caceres Clarinet, Dave Bowman Piano, Bob Haggard Bass and George Wetling Drumming. Miss Wiley is in a predicament. I don't want you But I hate to lose you You've got me in between The devil and the deep blue sea I forgive you Cause I can't forget you You've got me in between The devil and the deep blue sea You walk my lips, but when you come knocking at my door, fate seems to give my heart a twist. I come running back for more. I should hate you, but I guess I love you. You've got me in between the devil and the deep blue sea. Wiley for the song by Ted Kohler and Harold Arlen. Always hearing from you about your liking for live recordings, you couldn't be liver than the London Palladium charity performances they called Night of a Hundred Stars. I was in many of them, and they were hair-raisingly under-rehearsed, which brought a bubbling immediacy to the proceedings, a touch-and-go-ness. The curtain went up at midnight so that we could all get there after our theatres closed. I wrote a version of my Londoner song for Bert Lancaster and Kirk Douglas to sing in acrobatic duet. They were both ultra-Englishly dressed in black jackets and striped trousers and bowler hats. Kirk carried Bert Lancaster on his shoulders and Bert did this forward tumble to the stage at the end. One of these nights happened on June the 28th, 1956. In the cast was Jack Benny with a female child prodigy from Scunthorpe. Now, she's a virtuoso on the violin, which Benny never was, but was better at it than he liked an audience to believe. Yvonne Larvin, that's the child's name, has appeared with him on television, where she tended to be better than he was. Tonight he asks her not to do it again. Now, um, Yvonne, what would you suggest that we play together? I mean, what little number? I mean, just something that would be good for the violin, huh? Well... What about the Gypsy Airs by Sarasati? <laughs> Funny how you picked the one number <laughs> that I don't know of all the numbers. What? Some other number. What else would you? Uh, Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto in E Minor. <laughs> Mendelssohn's Concerto, E Minor. I don't know, that's been done to death. You know, I mean, you know everybody's humming it. You know what I mean? Wherever you go, you, can, you mean the number that goes. You mean that one, huh? Well, that's the one. It doesn't quite go like that. It doesn't quite, I see, huh? Well, why don't we play the number that we rehearse? You know what I mean? The thing. <laughs> Something um, popular like getting to know you, huh? And look, at this time, not like on my television show. I mean, don't show off or anything. Just just play the obligato and play it straight. Huh? Okay. Give me A, would you please, honey? Huh? That's close to that. Huh? play 
getting to know you, huh? Now, just the harmony and just straight. Now, don't, you know, don't do anything. Can we have a, an arpeggio? Thank you in this thing. The masterly timing of Jack Benny with the undermining Yvonne Larvin delighting us in the 1956 Night of a Hundred Stars. The wireless review Cap and Bells began in wartime and strayed over into the rickety peace we tried to enjoy. It wasn't easy. One of the songs I wrote at the time ran In the palmy days of war We didn't know we wouldn't get what we were fighting for We were rationed up to the eyeballs because having won... We were busy loving our German and Japanese neighbours who had been bombing the hell out of us. Ever trying to look on the brighter side, I wrote another song, which I sang when VE Day happened. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Cap and Victory Bells, a special celebration edition of the popular late-night review, with Norton Wayne, Basil Radford, Cherry Lind, Hubert Gregg, Zoe Gale, Noel Gordon, Harry Jacobson, and Cliff Gore. The Augmented Dance Orchestra, conducted by Stanley Black, the production by Vernon Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, Cap and Victory Bell. What's that glow on the horizon? What's that bloom upon the glen? It's a sight to feast your eyes on. It's that sun again. Thank your stars, you're there to see it Never ask for how and when Say the destiny is decree it It's that sun again He's been quite a while in hiding How you've missed that ball of fire But you're gonna see him riding Higher and higher and higher and higher When the hurricane is over that's before you count to ten You'll be rolling in the clover You're the luckiest of men Lights unfolding It's that golden sun Again He's been quiet a while in hiding How you've missed that ball of fire but you're gonna see him riding Higher and higher and higher and higher When the hurricane is over That's before you count to ten You'll be rolling in the clover You're the luckiest of men Life's unfolding It's that golden sun a song from me to you from darker days well earlier days anyway how's your gin or is it cocoa why don't you top up but don't go out of earshot because here comes something for you ivan haxel in leon c essex the last time i recall a memory for you you were in hospital and missed it alas there isn't much on record of the wartime review material. You remember the two Hermiones, Gingold and Badley, Henry Kendall, Bonacolino, Rose Hill. What about the beautifully dead pan Joan Swinstead, who sang Please Squeeze My Toothpaste from the Bottom, Mr. Price? And is your stirrup pump still working, Colonel Hop 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 Hopkins? You admired their witty but penetrating repertoire, particularly when today vulgarity is confused with wit 
and cacophony masquerades as music. I see. Otherwise, you continue, anything by Stefan Grappelli and the Hot Tub of France. Will this do? They're marvellous. Them, their eyes, that was. Played by the ineffable Hot Club of France. What, now to close, a lady I met when singing and lecturing for my supper on the QE2. She was beautiful, an exquisite dancer, and I believe was promoting a scent with which she had something to do commercially. We danced, and I caught a hypnotic whiff as we whirled. <laughs> so much I can't conceal it I love you so much it's a wonder you don't feel it I love you so much my eyes reveal it I love you so much it's a wonder you can't feel it I've decided that I am through with all this rambling about I don't believe 
can't conceal it. I we love you so much. I it's a wonder you don't feel it. We love you so much. I can't believe it. Our eyes reveal it. Arlene Dahl with a few vocal admirers. In the song she sang in the movie, Three Little Words. I don't know whether she had a singing double. Very much doubt it. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. The audience, the males in it, certainly wouldn't have been listening so much as looking. Well, the old man with the scythe has done his mowing. Not, so to speak, his final bit of reaping. We live to remember another day. So I shall be in the square chair when the Friday Club reconvenes in a senite on this same wireless too. My gratitude to Roy Oakshot for guiding me safely through to camp ground. And so we re-meet. This is Hubert Gregg saying, harking back to Boulay, in the days when Phyllis Robinson had charge of these series of mine, Boo would come to our office for tea and cakes and loud laughter. Wicked, some of it. Her husband, Frank Lawton, too, was a friend. We played on Broadway together in the Rattic and Comedy French Without Tears and he showed great kindness to a raw juvenile took me to lunch at Sardis and made sure I met every Hollywood star that flew over to see the play, hoping to snaffle the lead when the movie was made. Janet Gaynor, Joan Crawford, Loretta Young. <laughs> no more from me, Hubert Gregg, broadcasting on 88 to 91 FM, Wireless 2 from the BBC in London, but to say au revoir. To you. Greetings, music lovers. It's Fluff here with news that every Tuesday at 7, I'll be here with their greatest bits, all the choice cuts from the world of opera and light classical music. So if you're manic about Mozart, batty for Beethoven, or enjoy a little sensuality from Schubert, don't forget to tune in to BBC Radio 2 on 88 to 91 FM every Tuesday at 7 o'clock. All right? <laughs> Friday night is music night.